Can't get your settings to load on your Xbox? I got a fix for that. Feel like throwing your controller across the room? Or maybe just tossing your Xbox out the window? What's up guys, I'm Dylan, and I'm gonna show you how to fix your Xbox when your settings won't load. So as a lot of you may know, a year ago I made a video teaching you how to fix your Xbox not loading games and apps. Well I got loads of comments telling me that what if my settings won't open? Or what if I can't get my settings to open? And that kind of thing. Well, I'm gonna show you what I did to fix that because I actually had that same issue before I showed you how to fix the other problem. Today I have my Xbox in front of me, the same Xbox I used in that video a year ago, and I'm gonna teach you how to fix that problem. So first you're gonna take your Xbox and it's gonna be on, and you're gonna wanna hold the button until it turns off. After it turns off, you're then gonna come to the back of it and you're gonna unplug it. Then you're gonna come to your power supply box and you're gonna unplug it there. And then you'll follow that cord on to wherever you have it plugged in at and you'll unplug it there. And then you're gonna plug that back in. You're then gonna plug it back into your, your power supply. Then you're gonna plug it back into your Xbox. And then you're gonna turn your Xbox back on. So what you've done there is you've power cycled your Xbox. And what that does is it kind of frees up a little space to let it run a little bit smoother. Now, it won't last long, I'll say that, so you better open your settings quick if you're having the other issue where you need to get your games and apps loading up. So you'll have to do that kind of quick, and uh, it should work. It worked for me. Uh, let me know if it works for you. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, remember to leave a like and comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.